Last year was the first year I tried the meadow and I realized I need some foundation plants. I can't rely entirely on the wildflower seeds for structure and growth and not looking like a complete wasteland at the end of summer. So I wanted to put in some succulents, some drought tolerant plants, and I didn't want to spend a fortune. Turns out all of the purslane are free from the ones that I bought a couple of years ago. Last year, I took some cuttings off of my rock purslane and I put them here in the meadow to see how they would survive gophers, poor watering conditions, etc. And I'm pleased to announce they've done very, very well. So now I am taking more cuttings and filling in the rest of the slope as my base plant for my meadow. They're actually growing so much, they've become a little invasive in our front yard. So while we're taking them out, we are cutting them up and transferring them to an entire slope. The purslane want to grow from this central plant, so it sends out these stalks what I'm doing is I'm cutting the stalks and I'm dipping them in rooting hormone and then planting them on the slope and they are surviving, unlike my voice, which seems all raspy. <laughs> rooting hormone that I picked up at Lowe's, you'll find it at any garden center, and it really helps with getting these cuttings to take root. This looks beautiful and it's trailing back all the way down to there. I think that's it right there. So if I cut that, well, that's only one stalk. That's not really that much. Let's find a better one. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. I found this and I followed it back. It goes to there. So this is pretty scraggly and that could go there, there, here, and there's that nice stalk. So I basically plant the stalk like I'm sticking it into a vase. I don't give it a really wide hole. So I just, oh, can I do this one handed? So I just give it a nice. Even though I'm not going to use probably all of this length. Right now I pull that away. And you can see, well, not terribly pretty. But, so I take the fresh cut. And what's great is if you like, you can cut it anytime and let it form a callus and then dip it and then do the powder and it works every bit as well. Perhaps a little bit better. Dip it into the hormone powder, give it a tap. Now we will go plant it. I need my other hand to pick up the shovel though. a very sandy soil, but that's what these plants like. I am not amending the soil at all. It is just as is. Stand it up like that and then backfill. Yeah, 
And that's in and on to the next one. I have a problem with voles and they are going to live here in the meadow. They are meadow mice after all. And I don't want to kill them. And since I figured I'm going to live with them, the purslane sits up above the dirt for the most part. So they can get their holes all around and I won't see them. So we can coexist together peacefully. We're always in a drought in California and we have rain coming. So since rain is gonna be here tomorrow, today, I just have a couple of hours, but I'm gonna get in as many purslane as I can on the slope. And then I'm gonna get the rest of the wildflower seeds from last year put on and tamped down so that in a few months, we can have a lovely garden full of wildflowers. But we're, we're hustling to get it all done today. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am looking down on all this slope trying not to fall down because I wiped out a couple of times the other day and it was not fun so I'm going to put it right here in front of this rock I tend to like the way they look growing next to a rock yeah I still got weeds to remove but I'm not being too militant about it because well the gophers eat them gotta leave them some food otherwise they're just gonna eat my plants they don't seem to like the purse lane, which is why I'm going heavy with the purse lane. You can see I planted one here against this rock. One against that rock. Down there, that has no rock. And that one has no rock. I'm just putting them in here and there. And then eventually we'll end up like that. The fullest purslane are the first ones that I put in. I put those in about six months ago. These less vigorous ones I put in about three months ago. Now those I allowed time to cure. I let them form a callus on them before planting them. They don't seem to be quite as vigorous. The ones that I put in fresh seem to be doing better, which is contrary to everything I have read, by the way. What's so wonderful about the wildflower seeds is they then drop more seeds. So those are my flowers for next year. Okay, we got them put in, we got more seed sprinkled all around we've watered now we wait for the rain and see if april showers bring me flowers thank you for watching i love you bunches i hope you have an awesome rest of your day and i will talk to you very soon